I, I be honest with you, I haven't thought of it yet. Because every time we make a beer now, even sometimes we make a beer, I think it's too crazy and people love it. So <laughs> I, I I don't know. I mean Yeah. Fair enough. Something something uh crazy, I don't know. Soy sauce beer? <laughs> I like soy sauce. But I don't know if it would t taste good in a beer. Uh, we've never made a gluten-free beer, but actually next Wednesday I'm going to make my first gluten-free beer test. It's a collab beer with Verdant, and we're going to make a double dry hop beer and use the enzymes to break down the glutenes. And uh, hopefully we'll have success on the first try. But uh, I've done a lot of research, talked to a lot of people. I have one employee here that used to work at a brewery that did a lot of gluten-free beer, so I think we'll nail it and uh, you'll enjoy it. And then let's see what happens after that because it's an easy step to deal with as long as you have the, the right equipment and want to do it. So, uh, I've been known to party and uh, Dave knows firsthand. So yes, of course. <laughs> Like top five all time. I don't know. I would say, well, Tasty Juice is up there for the reason that I really like to drink it, especially when it's fresh, as you all know. Um, barley wine, or now we call it Paragon, is uh, one of my favorite beers that we produce. Lucky Jack, I'm very proud of for how it's transformed this brewery and I think helped push Norway in a, in a good direction. But I mean, it was going to go there anyway. It's just, I, I had good timing there, but uh, I'm proud of it. Um, let's see, two more beers. Uh, boy. <laughs> I like our Pilsner, to be honest with you. I mean, not many craft brewers can say they make a Pilsner at that level, uh, which is tasting kind of like an industrial beer, but it's very difficult to hide any, any flaw in a, in a Pilsner. And uh, I guess my next favorite one would be the the next beer I come up with. So, <laughs> I mean, I love them all, so.